Hey guys, it's me, Combs and welcome to another week of FNAF Weekly News. As always, I do every Saturday that covers this week's FNAF news. We got a lot of news this week, so if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe, and tell me what your favorite thing was in the comments below. But let's start off with the more news. So, YouTube has revealed an upcoming plushie of Vanessa Se Shelley from Blumhouse's Five Nights at Freddy's. So, we are getting a Vanessa plushie from the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. It looks alright, looks like a whole police outfit like we've seen in the movie. What you expect from the plushie, it's, probably, it's, it's good looking. Got the police jacket on, got the blue t shirt, uh, blue shorts he has, and uh, I think it looks pretty good. It looks very accurate to the FNAF movie. We also got a full look at a new Five Nights at Freddy's plus hangles from Just Toys. So, uh, Just Toys is having some plus hangles. I don't know what they are exactly. Maybe they hang off your book bag or something like that. You know, the, how those things are. Kind of like keychains a little bit, I think. Uh, sorry if I don't know what I'm talking about. But they're all from Just Toys. I never heard of this company before, but these things will actually, I'm not gonna lie, guys. They were pretty cute. I would. They're probably gonna be like probably like five and below. They look like they'll be at something for four, five or below. Some of that stuff's not be five dollars or five below. They're like, like there was some small stuff that cost five dollars. It's kind of crazy. But these are very cute. I really like the golden forty one the most. It's just I don't know why. It's just super cute looking. These all guys look all awesome. So I'm not sure if these are upcoming or not because it doesn't really say. But these are some upcoming products. Although maybe out. I, I don't know, guys. But they're cute. So pick them up if you can. And FYE has released a mystery flavored fizzy fast soda, so this mysterious drink is packed with fizzy fun, featuring surprise flavors that will keep you guessing. A perfect treat for any FNAF fan looking at quench their thirst in spooky style. So, this is probably the weirdest product we've gotten in a while, so FYE has released a mystery flavored fizzy fast soda, so, personally, it looks like root beer because of how brown it is, but apparently it's just random flavors. Uh, I'm very interested in all what it tastes like i can't taste it because i don't have fye near me so i'm kind of jealous but maybe i'm lucky that i don't get to try the mystery flavor but i am curious i will say that in me also it's caffeine for you so and we have every five nights of 40s reveal on youtube's is october ama what are you excited for so youtube has released our entire uh, october uh, ama with all the products they're going to be doing so let me just go to them one by one so but at three point teaser soon DJ Music Man Hanging Pin will be released in a future wave. Random Plusies have an ETA of Quarter 1 and Quarter 2 of 2025. The figures will be released before then. Open to ideas of FNAF book characters, so that's very interesting. A new type of FNAF Light is in the works at FNAF Light. Waxy Weighted Plus will be released later this month in a Halloween wave. Working on ideas for Shadow Figures and Plusies. Unwithered Yellow Rabbit Plus is in the works. FNAF Movie Wave 2 includes three figures and will likely be released in December. MatPat likely Ness will make an appearance. Blood Bell Figure may be coming soon. Toy Animatronics coming in the future. No, no current plans for Into the Pit figures. No current plans for Circus Baby, Anode, or Glitch Shep sitting plus. So that's all the things that are going to be coming. Keep an eye out for those things. I would definitely be covering these in the news. And YouTube has also released an upcoming plushie of Grim Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted the Course of Dread Bell. So we don't really get to see a good look of... Uh, Grim Foxy, but we get to see a side profile, I guess you can call it it. It's what you expect, you can't really make it like how it is in the game because it's kind of transparent with all the file and blob and stuff from Grim Foxy. But, uh, look forward to it, I guess. Uh, uh, tell me, is this one of your favorite animatronics, guys? I don't know much about Grim Foxy, I just know he's annoying, and that's technically the game's max mode in Help Wanted. Interesting choice for a FNAF plus I guess every character has to get FNAF plus I suppose. And that was all for the multi news, so now we actually have some game news. So, Days of the Devs have shown an overview of the Five Nights at Freddy's Secrets of the Mimic presentation at Fantastic Games 2024. This product was kept a bit under wraps, showing off the Mimic. This game will unravel some of the mysteries behind this fan favorite villain. But what that means will need to be revealed elsewhere. So, they basically didn't really tell us much, just so us the demo has the Mimic. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, a lot of people are angry that they did not allow people to record it or release a demo for it, but. This we remember guys, this game got like announced like two months ago, so it's still being worked on and uh we gotta we dude, we got just we just got into the pit, so guys calm down. We'll, we'll get a lot of finesse stuff. We should be grateful for the stuff we get, because we get a lot of stuff. Like I gotta look at Baldi and other indie games. They don't really get as much as we do, so we should be grateful guys. But that was all for the game news. There was only one thing. There was some patch notes for into the pit, but I didn't really want to cover that. You guys can look at that on your own time because there's so much to talk about with patch news and stuff and it's just a bunch of coding jumble and stuff like that but now we got the movie news so this is some pretty intense news we got from josh hutchinson 
and Matthew Lenore. So let's just start off with Josh Hutchinson. He says, it's much bigger. The stakes are higher. There's more animatronics being bought in. They want animatronics being bought in. And the world just opens up in a big way. I think the fans are going to flip it. I actually going to be a lot of fun with the source. It's going to be Scalio too. So it's going to be Scalio guys. If you guys complain about the FNAF movie, not being scaly, even though FNAF is not really scaly, to be honest. FNAF was like the only scaly game. But, uh... That's just my opinion, but yeah, it's gonna be very cool. So this is coming from Josh Hutchinson. He's clearly saw the script and stuff. So the filming starts next month. So I wonder if it's gonna become true because they haven't recorded yet. But that's all Josh Hutchinson said. Um, his last name is hard to pronounce. And here's what Matthew Linnold said about the Five Nights at Freddy's 2. So I think the filmmakers have done a great job of learning from the first movie of what fans want. I think they're going to give a lot more of that. It's going to be more exciting, and I think it's going to have more action. It's going to have a lot of character development and stuff. Try to kiss around it. I think the story ends and the movie ends in a really exciting way. A lot of people think that uh, Mike is going to die in this movie. I don't think he's going to die in this movie because it's just... Maybe Lenor just meant the story of like... This is the second movie and how the movie ends. I, I think that's what he's referring to. I don't really think Michael or anybody's going to die. Maybe Vanessa, maybe C could die. I don't know. There was going to be more stakes upon the character development. So there was going to be some crazy stuff happening. Just like any other movie. But yeah, Matthew Leonard gave us a big bomb sale basically on what to expect of this Five Nights at Freddy's 2 movie. And he says the script is good. So and he really he's a OG actor. So we just got to listen to him. And that was all for the movie news, so we also got some exceptional news, this is going to be the last piece of news for today, so the Duckham FNAF ha will be ha hosting an interview with the cast of Security Weights, Del Wagler Sauce, and Matthew Linnold on October 27th. Signed prints will be available via Streamy, stream Streamily, I never heard of that platform before. The Darko is doing something with FNAF and basically interviewing a lot of people, so we got some Security Weights voice actors. They got the guy that's in the intercom Security Weights and uh, Exotic Butters, that guy. Uh, they got the Waxy and Gregory voice actor. They got the Glamrock Freddy uh, voice actor. I think Mon uh, Shun um, Sun and Moon too. And uh, maybe Chica. I'm not completely sure. And two other people. I never heard of the name, so no offense taken. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know you. And Matthew Leonard. So this is going to be pretty cool. I can't wait for this interview, what it's going to be like. Because normally they give us some really awesome information on what to expect about some things i know sometimes they're under a contract and they can't say some things but they sometimes give little bit hints and stuff and also i like to hear what it's like in the va work and stuff like in acting it's very cool um i would love to be a voice actor one day but i have a speech impediment so i can't really do that so the second best thing is being a fnaf duel so yeah but that was all for this week's news. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. It helps a lot and it boosts uh, engagement so more people can find out my channel and we can hit 3,000 subscribers. But that was a crazy week of FNAF news. Thankfully, it wasn't like last week when we just got more news. But I will see you guys next time.